I just thought we did a great job coming out and swinging the bats. And, uh, you know, from the second inning on, it's, uh, you know, we, 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 we just saw a lot of pitches and fouled some pitches off, took a lot of pitches and hit a lot of balls hard. And, uh, you know, you never know how it's going to go on a Tuesday or Wednesday. But, uh, you know, the, I just I feel like the team showed up with a little bit of an attitude and, and, and kept it rolling. And, uh, you know, really top to bottom through the lineup, guys were having good at bats. And, you know, Ramage went out there and gave us four or five pretty good innings. And, um, you know, the hits that he gave up, most of them were with two strikes, kind of made some mistakes, didn't bury some pitches. And, uh, uh, you know, no, it was good to get him out there and let him throw some pitches, extend it a little bit, break sweat. And, uh, uh, you know, I feel like he got better tonight. So that was that was big. And then, you know, Vermillion and Cops, they threw the ball pretty good. Costi Shock uh, got a double play ball, which is good to see. And just trying to get those guys some work. And, uh but uh, really just uh, a good win for us on Tuesday. Hey, what have you thought about the play of Curtis Washington the last few weeks? It seems like every time he gets in the lineup, he really produces for you. Yeah, he just, uh, you know, he plays plays the game hard and, you know, hits the ball all over the field and um, just, uh, you know, still developing player. He's got, you know, you know, we see him every day. We know what he's good at and what he's really got to work on. And, uh we played him on some Tuesday nights, and he seems to take a walk and get a hit and score a run. And uh, he know, he knows his role, and he's done a great job with it. I know that was his first home run, but it seems like he's really the fifth of the Yeah, he's hit two or three doubles in the last few games he's played, and uh, he's found himself in some really good hitters counts: three one, two zero. Oh. Uh, I think tonight he first pitch on in one of his bats, he he he, had, he jumped a pitch pretty good, so. Good for him. He works hard. He can play all three outfield positions. He could probably play third base in a pinch. And, uh, you know, that's what we wanted him to do is just be kind of a utility guy, pinch runner, defender at the end of the game possibly. He said you wanted Kirsch to have the hammer. He did that. He yep. also had some mental errors. Obviously. Yeah. I think his game overall. Offensively, he was outstanding. And uh, he, today in batting practice pregame BP, he really hit the ball hard. I mean, he hit. He had a couple, three balls, oppo to the left center out of the park. Hit a couple of the batters. I had a lot of line drives through the middle, and you know he took it to the game. I um, mean, he, you know, I think he had three hits, and uh, you know, used the middle of the field. It was really good to see. What did he tell you that happened there at that play? I don't know. What did he tell me? He didn't. There wasn't much to tell me. I asked him, "Did you go touch home plate?" He finally said, "No." I get, he thought that somebody caught the ball. I don't know what to tell you. I've never seen anything like it. And you're going to have to ask him what happened there. You think he was just a little overhyped? I mean, I have no idea. You're going to have to ask him. I don't even want to talk about it because I'll get red faced. Because I'm not of, happy is with that it. That kind of a love hate thing because he hit the ball so hard. Yeah, and but, he yeah it's ridiculous. It's, I don't know what happened. You know, somebody in the stands yelled, he caught it, stop. I mean, what, what happened? So it was ridiculous. I've never seen that. Just even if you think he caught it, just run and touch home plate. Ball's hidden to the gap. You're at second base, round the bag, run in. Just cruise on and touch that plate. And if you're out, you're out. That's all you got to do. You thought Connor on Tuesday last week kind of yeah. got himself thrown. You thought this might be the same thing for Ramage? I hope so. You know, we need him to, to give us some innings at least one game this weekend. And uh, uh, if it's if they're quicker outings, uh, you know, maybe twice. So, um you know, we'll, we'll he'll be ready for Saturday or Sunday or both. We'll see how it goes. You look where Kostyshuk is right now in, in his return. Uh, he, you know, he he wanted to pitch. We weren't even going to pitch him in the eighth. We were going to just put Jacob out there, and he really was, uh, you know, because we we don't want to throw him tomorrow. It's too close to the weekend. So, uh, and he was adamant. I really want to go out on the mound. And so that was good. You know, um, I think he'll be ready to go this weekend. You know, he, he missed a couple weeks and. Didn't get to pick up a ball for a while and then got it back. And, uh, yeah, a little rusty. But, uh, you know, he's, he's throwing the ball with good velocity. How much would you have liked to see Burton had that right now? Just yeah, I mean, I, li- I would have liked to see him, you know, get through that inning. It was good to see him get that first out. After that, I mean, I don't know. Anybody could hold the baseball. And, uh, you know, we knew it was a, a little sell that it wasn't going to last real long, but it was pretty heavy. And, uh but it just it just really got the field in, in bad shape. We don't want to get anybody hurt. So 
Who do you pitch tomorrow? Uh, we're going to throw a little bit of everybody. We haven't made a decision on who we're going to start, but uh, you know we've got we've got we've got Denton, we've got Tress. You know those guys will probably be at the front, and then after that we'll 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 see how it's going. What you're feeling about Heston? You ever felt that way about a guy who went three for four? You ever been that kind of put out or upset? I just I mean it's just one of those things. It just you know you you got to know how many outs there are when you when you when you're in the field. There's a lot of things led up to that, you know, and, you know, you know, I saw a mistake on a ball that hit to the gap. Just keep your eye on the ball. Don't drop your head. Maybe you could end up at third base with no outs. And then the next ball that goes to the warning track is called a sack fly. But that didn't happen because then he dropped it, and then the rule states, he's, you know, you saw that. Well, that shouldn't matter. He should have been standing on third base. But anyway, man, I guess they would. Is that a bad replay rule there? I mean, obviously. Yeah, what it is, there should be some judgment from the umpires there instead of just if they change a call on a catch, no catch, you go back to where you were. It doesn't make a lot of sense because to me, it hurts the offense right there. So, uh, and then the base runner mistake. So, you know, there were three things that went on in the game that were really irritating to me. So, those little things that'll get you beat in a close game. And uh, those are the things that, you know, we've got to clean up. I think so. I'm I'm sure that you know well you can ask him how he feels.